what's up everybody this is Liz Katz and I wanted to discuss with you something that I get asked about a lot anytime I mention having a baby or breastfeeding asked sometimes by women who also are in the same situation who want to know how it turned out as well as guys who some I imagine are just curious and others who are just kind of being jerks today we're talking all about breastfeeding with implants I get asked so much can you breastfeed with implants? How do you breastfeed with implants? How are you breastfeeding? Aren't they just sucking on silicone? First of all, that's not how implants work. An implant is actually placed usually behind the breast tissue and even behind the muscle. An implant's not just there flopping around in front of your skin taking over. An implant isn't something that they stick onto you like on top of you. <laughs> it's just its own thing and they take away your real boobs. No, an implant actually is just an enhancement. Think of an implant as a silicone bubble thing that they just go and make a little pocket behind the muscle behind your actual breast and stick it right in. All it's doing is pushing all that tissue already there forward and making it look bigger. Now that we know what a basic breast augmentation is for implants, I can discuss my experience with it. So I've actually had two breast augmentations. I had one around early 2012 and I had a second around mid 2015. Why did I have two? I just wasn't happy with how my first ended up healing and turned out on me. They just never really sat right. So I got my second set of implants and I have been so happy with these since. Now when you get implants, you can decide a few different options for incisions. They have the ones that are under the boob, which I think are most common. They have like armpit ones, they have navel ones randomly, I don't know how they could really accurately place something through the navel. And then they have the ones through the areola, aka your nipple. And that's what I got, the areolar incisions, which are actually the ones that could possibly affect breastfeeding. I was actually terrified that I wasn't gonna be able to breastfeed baby Lirius because there is not a lot of resources online on women who did get the areolar incisions for breast implants and having successful stories of breastfeeding. There's just none. It's mostly people asking about it. All the successful stories I read were about other types of incisions. So I was horrified. Now, when you ask doctors, a lot of them would say it shouldn't affect it. I did read some women's stories who did have trouble breastfeeding with implants. However, they never had children prior, so there really is no way to say whether it was the implants that affected the breastfeeding or if they would have had that problem to begin with. I had a child years before any breast augmentation. With my first, breastfeeding was so easy. There was just one problem. I was an overproducer of milk, and it was... I felt bad because I had so much stored in the freezer that I would just have to get rid of. There wasn't really at that time an easy way to donate milk. Otherwise, I totally would have done that if I could have just dropped it off at a local hospital or something. But there were no options like that then. Now there are. So I was just wasting it because I had too much of it. Fast forward to being pregnant with baby Lirius after two breast augmentations. I was scared I wasn't going to be able to successfully breastfeed because I've gone in twice through the same area of the nipple. I was terrified that that lower half is where most of those milk ducts and nerves and stuff are. So I was really curious how this would work. I had a good sign even like four or five months into pregnancy where I was producing a little colostrum, a little bit was leaking out through my boob if I squeezed it, which I was wondering because I was like concerned if I was going to breastfeed or not. The only difference between this and with my first pregnancy is with my first pregnancy it was pretty much leaking out. Um, with this one it was more having to squeeze it out. After baby Lyris was born I had about a day and a half of you know trying to feed nothing came in and then my milk did come in. I had the normal issues of engorgement and was fine. The only issue I feel I had more of this time around compared to with my first was in the beginning I feel like I was getting more um, clogs and when I get a clog it was way more severe. It didn't just start out with a clog and we go oh you know I probably should fix that before I get sick. It would just instantly be me shaking, having a fever, feeling freezing the moment I even realized I had a clog or even was slightly red. Um, there was no progression to that. So that was a big difference. I don't know if it's because of the implants again or just how this baby was. But just as it did with my first, as a couple months went by, 
who me and baby Lyris who were on a schedule together. She was better at nursing, so she was able to get everything from the rest, so we didn't have any issues after that at all. With baby Lyris, I'm not really overproducing like I was with my first. I was able to store a whole bunch in the beginning. Um, I lost a bunch of it though when our freezer died. It was heart-wrenching to me. I cried. We didn't know the freezer died until it was too late and I legit cried over that spoiled milk. After that, I didn't really take the time to pump crazy to store anymore. I just did on-demand feeding. With implants, baby Lyrius was exclusively breastfed for seven months. No problem at all. She is right where she's supposed to be weight-wise. She's actually tall for her age. So yes, you can breastfeed with implants, even the areola incisions. No, it didn't cause me problems. No, it didn't cause me problems. If you do have aerial incisions, I'd recommend waiting as many years as you can so that way you can heal up. Maybe some more nerve endings can make new connections again. So the time between my last augmentation and then that pregnancy was about four years and some months. Now around the time baby Lyris was six months is when I found out I was pregnant again. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a separate video discussing how breastfeeding while pregnant has changed things. Cause that, that's a whole, that's a whole different thing. But implants, no issues. And if you are an augmented mama or mama to be, don't be scared. Don't just give up and expect that you're gonna have to use formula. Give it a try and don't get discouraged if it's hard at first, just keep trying. I promise you the benefits are worth it. What I would like to add though is with the implants and pregnancy and breastfeeding is, so, um, my first pregnancy, I pretty much went from, I was overly skinny before I got pregnant. So I was a B cup. Um, when I'm not overly skinny, I'm about a C cup naturally. I went from being overly skinny and having very little of anything up here to naturally with that first pregnancy being like double D's, huge on me. Much smaller than what I have now though, but they were surprising at the time. Um, after I was done breastfeeding due to lifestyle and a lot of issues going on, I got even skinnier. I was so skinny that everything just went away. Everything natural just was gone. And that was kind of where I decided to get implants because they just kind of looked like sad deflated balloons. Um, but now with this pregnancy, uh, I started out at a pretty healthy weight in a healthy spot with the implants. And then with the hormones from my pregnancy with baby Lyrius and then breastfeeding, they get to anime today proportions. Like they get humongous. And if you look at like, I like how I'm like moving my hair out of the way, as an example. If you look at my photos now compared to those in like 2019, you can, you can see. <laughs> My hope is that if I don't lose a ton of weight, which I don't intend to, that some of it stays. I'm gonna be so sad if everything goes back down and just gets all deflated and droopy. Cause then I gotta go, I gotta bring this car into the shop. We gotta go put new headlights on. We gotta tone things up again. I gotta do, it's a whole thing. But as of right now with the pregnancy while breastfeeding, with implants, I feel like we're looking pretty fire in that department. So I hope this answered some of your questions. And for those of you who legitimately were concerned, I hope this puts your concerns at ease and you do give it a go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe because it means so much to me. You guys rock and I'll see you next time. Bye.